stop picking your nose and talk to me. Maybe so, this airport is so baby. They have, currently have three planes here. Four. Such a big airport, huh? Oh, it's hard with a Dayton airport. It's so little. Anyway, we made it. We didn't die. So weird. This is our first experience ever driving on the wrong side of the car. Yeah. On the, yeah. On the road. Oh my gosh, it is weird. What? I feel so. It's the roundabout. Out it's right like now. a wrong roundabout. Wait, where do we go? Uh, on you focus going. on navigating. This is our navigation right here. Just uh, old school Google Maps, baby. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So far we've seen two signs, like the deer, you know, beware of deer crossing the road in the States with a boar and a, what? A gazelle. A gazelle. Or a springbok. And we're still driving on the wrong side of the road. Yes, it feels so odd. So odd. It's still it's natural. But we're in Namibs. The Namibs. The Coco Nibs. How you doing? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but it's doable. It's doable. It's just odd. We are, uh, good thing is we're one of the few cars on the road. Oh yeah, we're the only car on the road. Like seven people in Namibia and they were all at the shell station. They noticed something that wasn't there the night before. Um, it was any idea where we were smell. going? Oh they couldn't my quite goodness. tell Seriously? what it was. But they would later report the odor was similar to that of dirty diapers. Do you want to get some on the phone? They too? went into the master bedroom where the what? smell seemed to be emanating from. As they entered the room, everything appeared the same as it had the night before. Blankets were still piled in the center of the bed. 
when they walk closer. Ah, that's crazy, dude. This place. There's more looks on the right. Proper deserted. Oh, this is the desert. Look, there's a bakery. I bet they don't see too many cars out here. Look, a general dealer. Too much people out here. Oh. Ah! Hey, <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Whoa. We made it. That was the longest, most so brutal five hour drive of my life. My whole, my brain is still shaking. Probably partially concussed from that, honestly. So bad. Wow. Look at that works, go. Oh my Lanta. I was going 25. <laughs> 25 kilometers. This road is so bumpy. Look, we're staying in those though. What? I give it one thumbs up. At least the car's not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. Could be worse. That's my husband out there. He's doing his thing. As we head to dinner in Namibia. Staying in these little cute little huts. They do have their own kitchen and grill and stuff, but we're first world people. We don't we don't know how to cook like that, so Flimsy dress on a windy day in the desert. <laughs> this girl. This girl. My mouth full. I just want to take a minute to acknowledge the ambiance here. Look at Beautiful little lamb. Beautiful little woman. Nerd. But right, look. It's not bad at all. The sand is cold. what it's like to go potty in the desert. There she goes. <laughs> oh, what a restroom experience in sauce display is like. This, and it is, oh, rustic to say the least. But it's got a plastic, oh good. Dead play after quite the journey. 
it is. It is just as impressive and beautiful and surreal as I had imagined. I don't know anybody else that's ever been here. Except I mean, for Jayla. Jayla's been here. Jayla. But I don't know any people I know that's been here. That's not. First of all, I have to take a second and say that dune, which I think is called Big Daddy, has people walking down it. What? They're crazy. They're trying to kill themselves. It's freaking dead. This place. These trees are 900 years old, someone said and haven't had water maybe in 900 years, I don't know. But at one point it used to be a riverbed. You can tell. There ain't no water here, no mo. Chug, 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 chug. It is mm, at least 90 degrees, would you say? It's really hot. It's only 10 o'clock. As hot as balls on a forecast, is that a real thing? The weatherman said it once. Let's see. Ah. But we made it. Get me sprinting and dead. Get me sprinting and dead. Do I look fast? Do I look fast? What a weirdo. Oh my. Uh, I married a nerd. It's too hot to be sprinting at me. We're climbing out here. Let's see what we got. A little gold, a little dust. That's not that bad. Oh my breath. One more. Ah. Okay. This is in a good old washing. A good old washing. <laughs> oh, this place. I didn't even get it all out. How quiet is it out here? Listen. Well, the bottle was whistling. Yeah, I heard it. The bottle was, that was whistling. You could it hear it, really. Yeah, but the wind's not winding anymore. The wind's not winding. It's not winding. So much doing footage. I start cutting out. Feel like a board in five seconds. Really small. Yeah. Less than that. Fucking wildebeest in the road. Excuse us, sir. We're trying to leave Sussexley Park, and there's wildebeests. Wow, that's a big one. Wildebeest in the road. Check them out. Awesome. Hi guys. Hi. Bye. Bye. Go on record and say that Lorenz Snack World Naturals Classic. When I opened this bag of chips, I didn't expect much. But then I look in the top, look how full that is. Look at that. There's only like one inch space. That is full. You would never ever find that. You would never see that in the United States. Usually in the United States, when you open a bag of chips, it's 80% air. Sometimes 90%. Unless it's Pringles. And how much does that cost? Probably like 30 Probably like 30 cents. Where do you mind? Mm -hmm. After 10 hours outside, sometimes you gotta come inside and watch Under the Tuscan Sun. It's a classic. Jeez, what do you want? wondering 
The sound that you hear are barking geckos. Yeah, you heard that right. Barking geckos. Steven's chasing a, a wolf beast. Hurry on them. It's right there. Going to dinner at the Sussesvlei Lodge. Yes, I hear that cat. Oh, he's really loud. Look at this. Seriously. You'd think we're in central Ohio, but we're not. We're not in central Ohio. Even though I love central Ohio. Doing that wine test. Getting that wine test. Don't mess it up. Don't fail. Isn't this lovely? This is lovely. This is lovely. Since we can't toast together, we'll take turns. Here she, she raises her glass. I toast to marriage, African people, African animals, and sand. I love you. How's that lame? How's that lame? Do you have something better? African people and animals aren't good enough for your cheers? That's low. There's my plate. What? It doesn't require much narration. The moral of the story is never in my life again will I eat zebra or orcs. But because it's here and they already did the deed, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna try it. I, don't, I can't taste it, but you know, I don't promote it, by the way. If I liked vegetables, I'd be a vegan. But I have uh, zebra and orcs. So. I have it. It's taking everything for me not to want to cry. It's not different well, than a I chicken or a fish. Um, it's like a fish or a chicken. This bloodbath go down. Okay, bye. Blood